So hey, it's been so long, it's LDX, welcome back to another video. It's been so long since I have made an actual video, but today we're going to discuss about the vaccines. Mostly we're going to discuss about what are vaccines, what are the different types of COVID-19 vaccines, why you should get vaccinated, and the symptoms after getting vaccinated. So yeah, basically this is like a part 2 to Luis Felix's video about the vaccines. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on to it. Alright, what is a vaccine? Well, it is a substance used to stimulate the production of antibodies and provide immunity against diseases. So what this means is that vaccines give you immunity and protection from getting that disease. It's preventing you from getting it. These vaccines are administered through needle injections, but can also be administered by mouth or sprayed through the nose. Really interesting, right? It typically contains an agent that resembles a disease-causing microorganism and is often made from weakened or kill forms of the microbe, its toxins, or one of its surface proteins. So yeah, that's all the information I will conclude Six Luis Felix made a video about this. So go check it out if I were you. Moving on! Vaccination is the administration of a vaccine to help the immune system develop protection from the diseases. It stimulates the body's adaptive immunity. They help prevent sickness from an infectious disease. It is the most effective method of preventing infectious diseases. It is also been studied and verified widely. Now, since we got out of the way, let's move on to the main part of the video. Vaccines. So I, myself, won't be discussing what Felix did since it's kinda unoriginal to just copy what he did. So let's move on to the main event. As of right now, there are at least 8 COVID-19 vaccines that are spread around the world. These vaccines are used to make us prevent from getting the virus. There are 4 types of vaccines which are the whole virus vaccine, mRNA vaccine, the viral vector, and the protein subunit. Sinovac and Sinopharm belong to the whole virus vaccine, Pfizer Biotech and Moderna belong to the mRNA, AstraZeneca, Sputnik V, and Johnson & Johnson belong to the viral vector while Novavax belongs to the protein subunit. The efficiency rate of every single COVID-19 vaccine are shown right here. Now with that being discussed, it's time to inform you about Sinovac, Sinopharm, and Johnson & Johnson. Sinovac or Coronavac is a vaccine created by the company named Sinovac. It is a Chinese vaccine using killed viral particles to expose the body's immune system to the virus without risking a serious disease response. Here is a picture of President Duterte holding the Sinovac vaccine. Sinopharm is one of the two inactivated virus COVID-19 vaccines developed by Sinopharm. It shares the similar technology with Sinovac and Covaxin. It is being used in vaccination campaigns by certain countries in Asia, Africa, South America, and Europe. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine is a vaccine created by the company Johnson & Johnson. It is a viral vector vaccine which is based on a human adenovirus that has been modified to contain the gene for making the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. The body's immune system, however, responds to this spike protein to produce antibodies. Now you know what are these free COVID-19 vaccines that Felix didn't discuss, let's move on to the symptoms after getting vaccinated. So, there are two parts of symptoms after getting vaccinated. The one is in the arm where you got the shot, and then the other is throughout the rest of your body. The first symptoms are pain, readiness, and swelling. The second, however, are tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. Now, finally, let's answer the question, why should you get vaccinated? Well, for me, the reason why is to get protection from the disease, like Felix said. So basically, it prevents you from getting the disease with getting the disease by the power of getting the disease. <laughs> the reason we also need to get vaccinated is to not get the mild symptoms of the virus and to end the pandemic once and for all. And yeah, that's basically all of it. That's all of it, I guess. More videos coming out soon if I'm busy or not. So yeah, anyways, this is Gab and see you in the future. 
Are we done here yet? Yeah, mostly. It hasn't been a while since I've said that. Mark in the time.